All right, Panthers, welcome to Friday. Our final touches on our balloon dog drawings. So as you guys can see, we're gonna be using our value and our shading skills to apply it to our balloon dog. Now in this case, I used oil pastels and it comes out really beautifully and smooth and you guys can use your finger to like smear around the color. And you can lay your colors on top of each other. If you are not comfortable using oil pastels and you were like, oh no, I prefer to use something else, I ended up using colored pencils on this one. So you guys can achieve the same look using different materials. You're just going to do the same thing we did in our value scale earlier on in the week where you press down a little harder, you use a little black to shadow, and you use a little bit of the white of the paper to create the highlight. All right? So I will walk you guys through how to do this with oil pastels. Hopefully you have a balloon dog that looks something like this and that you traced it with a Sharpie or with the flare pen. I also drew in pencil little areas where I want my balloons to look shiny, where I have that highlight. I did not trace those in Sharpie. I don't want to see the outline of them. I'm just going to use this as a visual guide to decide when I go to color, don't color that part so it stays white. I also drew a light bulb up here. You do not need to draw a light bulb. I just did this to show you guys where my light source is coming from. If you're drawing at home, don't draw the light bulb. Just kind of pretend where the light bulb might be. That way it gives you an idea of where to shade the dark colors and where to put the light colors. All right, so in this case, my light bulb is in the upper right hand side, which means my highlights are kind of to the right side of my balloon and that my darker colors my darker values are going to be on the opposite side of the light. Okay, so let me turn my camera around and let me show you guys some of the colors I selected for my oil pastels. In this case, we're gonna probably choose more than one color. In general though, I do want my balloon dog to be purple. You guys can choose any color you'd like, like I mentioned. So I went through my oil pastels and I found this is my primary color. This is what I colored my whole dog with. And then I found a darker purple and then even like a, a navy blue. Something that's going to look well when I go to shade it. This is a good dark color. I don't always want to use black to shade because it can overpower. So I use navy blue. I use dark purple to create these darker values. At the end, I did end up taking my white oil pastel and using it to put a highlight right on top of my colors, which creates this wonderful transition between dark to light. That's the beauty of oil pastels, is you guys are able to go back and rework some areas that maybe you made a mistake or maybe you think need more tension, need more detail. So, I'm going to walk you guys through this. Collect some colors you think are going to work. So something that's going to be your base color and some of your darker colors in the same family. So if you're working with a warm color, maybe you want to find some dark warm colors. If you're working with cool colors like purple, I'm going to find some dark cool colors like dark blue, darker purple. Okay, collect your colors. Let's get started. First thing I do is I find my base color. I like this color. And I'm going to trace around my highlights so I know to just leave those alone, leave those white if I can. It's okay if you don't get it perfectly outlined. This is just to help you as you begin coloring. Again, my paper's falling off. That's okay. And it's also okay, folks, if you guys are coloring and your oil pastel breaks, just like what happens when we're in class, no big deal. So what? You have two of them now. All right. So I know this can be a little tedious watching me color, but let me show you guys exactly what we do. And yours is just going to look beautiful. With oil pastels, you guys are able to go back and layer and layer and layer and rework and draw on top of each other. I always like to work with my lighter colors first and then go dark. 
you can always go back and add dark, you can add dark. Sometimes it's a little harder to go and add the lighter colors later. They don't show up as well. So right now I'm just making sure my balloon dog here, inspired by contemporary artists. Contemporary means like he's popular now, he's alive now. He's not like one of the older guys, he's no longer alive. Contemporary artist, Jeff Koons. He did these huge, huge sculptures of balloon animal dogs. Now they're not made out of balloons, they're made out of fiberglass and such. But that's where he got his inspiration from. Okay, wonderful. We're cruising. Just make sure it's all colored in. Try to stay within the lines. I know it can be hard with oil pastels, especially because unlike color pencils or crayons, it doesn't have a nice pointy end. It's rather blunt. So that's why it actually helps if you draw a nice big balloon dog so it's a little bit easier to color. Okay, he's looking good, looking good. Next, I'm gonna go and see if I can layer in a darker color. I like this dark purple because my light source is over there. I'm gonna put some of my darker purple around the far edge of my light. So if my light is on the right side, I'm gonna apply this darker purple to the left side of my items. a good way to start applying different colors is just work light to dark. So for my cartoon dog, I'll put a little on an underbelly here, a little bit underneath the legs, and then on the left side, the legs, left side of the little tail. All right, this is looking good so far. Next, I'm gonna see, can I go a little darker? I have this like really lovely purple here that I might just do a little sliver of dark purple just to make it look more interesting. As you guys know, I'm always telling you, hey, make sure you layer the colors. It's so boring if you just pick one color. Okay, beautiful. And if you really feel like getting super dark and extra extra defining here, you can go ahead and use dark. Maybe whatever your darkest color is. Even if you want to use black, you can. You don't have to. And remember, you can use your finger to like soften up the lines a little bit. You're probably going to have to go wash your hands when you're done with this anyway. Unless, of course, you chose to use color pencil, which is totally fine too. All right, this is looking great. I'm gonna go back and maybe start with my original color and use this as a way to like blend. And our next job now is gonna have white. I like using the white to go back and add that highlight, create this beautiful blend on top of the darker colors if you can. Make your balloon dog look shiny and smooth. Very nice. All right, friends, I look forward to seeing how these look when you're done. Post them on Seesaw, bring them to our wind time, show me what you've done. All right, good luck.